Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're continuing the quest of the murdered augmented journalist. We just spoke with the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, and we were able to rule them out. Now we need to go speak with the detective again. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. Let's talk about the case. All right, so talk. I think I might have some information on potential suspects. Let me guess. It's the colonel with a lead pipe in the library. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Ever since you got here, she seems different, calmer. <laughs> you know, I met my first wife over a crime scene. Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. This was the work of a harvester copycat. This isn't some domestic dispute gone horribly wrong. It's part of something bigger. Someone's out there pretending to be a dead serial killer. I see you looked into that old case I pointed you toward. The M.O. is a perfect match. I read the notes and I compared them to this murder. The two victims were killed by the same person. I'm sure of it. All right. Let's say that's true. That doesn't necessarily exclude Johnny. It just means he's killed more than one person. I'm just telling you what I found. No, you're interpreting what you found. Trying to uh, sway my opinion. But if you really want to convince me of something, you need to keep talking. Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are made of alloy. If he had strangled her, he wouldn't have left a smudge. Alloy, huh? Shit. So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. Hey, rookie! Get over here! Interpol. It's time Who to wrap this up. Are? Daria, are you there? Is that you, neighbor? Are you checking up on me? It's very sweet. Are there any leads? I don't know who killed Angela Gunn, but I do know it wasn't an isolated case. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No, but it's the truth. Just try to be careful. Keep a low profile. If anything happens, if you ever think you're in danger, you know how to reach me. Thank you, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. So is this going to be a quest that we just have to wait on? It sounded like it. Hmm. So officially, it's gone from the side missions. I got the feeling that we're either going to have to be contacted by Daria, or... Maybe we will meet over another dead body, because it looks like there's nothing we can do but wait. Alright, let's follow up on the Vince Black side quest. So we need to meet Vince Black's informant, which should be at the Red Queen. Oh, 
It's such a cool looking place. It's like honeycombs. Who wants to get happy? This is the place? Little like leather pads. We just gotta look around for the informant. I'm not exactly sure what they look like. Oh, hey, they're augmented, aren't they? Finally, a real man. I think. My God. So hot. Hot, no I can't tell what's going on with their arms. Are they augmented, or is it just some like really strange thing? I'm pretty sure it's an augment. I hate this. Do not worry, beautiful. I guess the view says there's all boring. kinds here. I'm here at least a couple times a week, especially lately. You want to join my Go away. Go away from me. This is as risky as it gets in the main room, honey. What can I get you? You must have quite the pair on you, mister. I'll give you that. I thought the red light district was more liberal when it came to walks. No, no. Nothing like that. Your money's as good as anyone else's, except, um, we haven't had too many augmented in here lately. You worried I'll put the other customers off their entertainment? In the Red Queen, you're more likely to get some offers, handsome. So, what'll it be? Queen's got a pretty liberal management policy. A lot of places in this city wouldn't even let me in the door. The whole red light district is like that. Mostly. Besides, some of our most popular employees are augmented. Be kind of hypocritical to turn them away as customers. Smart business practice. Oh yeah. The owners here are real smart business. Part of the reason the Red Queen is the most popular club in the district. Sounds like a nice little family-run operation. Look, I don't want to get into trouble, and I don't want to lose this job. Don't worry, just get in the lay of the land. Red Light District always this busy? Only at night, locked up tight during the day. That's when the rest of the old district gets its share of the tourist credits. Pigeons of a different feather. You could say that. A little less adventurous. You know, museum goers, souvenir buyers, walk around with cameras glued to their faces. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You live in the city long enough, you take things for granted. Ignore all the sights and sounds around you that make it special. Yeah, I know the feeling. You only miss that stuff when you've left. All the trouble lately can't be good for business. You kidding? We deal in sex and alcohol. Times get tough, the man goes up, not down. People are looking to escape, you know? Play out some fantasies, have fun. And a little thing like the possibility of another bombing isn't enough to keep them at home. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Don't know if you heard, but they got the bastard who was behind the Ruzika expulsion. What do you mean? Raka, the leader of Ark. I guess the cops smoked him out of his room. Nu said he's dead and Ark was basically dismantled. Terrorists gone. Poof. Like that. So we got nothing to worry about. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> sure. What do you have? Nothing but the finest. Um, I'll buy something just to be polite. Here you go, boss. Fine with what I have. A man's got to know his limits. I heard that in a movie once. Hey there, handsome. Want a drink? I'm not even gonna drink it. You can give it to someone else. You want to join me?
so many cool futuristic lights and stuff. Oh, whoa. Arms turn into like tree limbs. I hope I never get that desperate. Is what they just said. Thanks. I probably shouldn't have gone up on the stage. Thankfully nobody did anything, but like, I would not be surprised if everybody runs screaming if I just randomly get up on the stage. Can I do some pole dancing? Damn. Private shows. Wait, what is this? You can just open these doors? That's a little odd. Interested in trying the Red Queen special? That's me. Come here. It'll be worth your time. Cause the informant must be upstairs. She put the place here in a private room. I'm sorry, but I'm still freaked out by all of this. So she's having a fling with an augmented gigolo. So what? Couples use sex toys together all the time. Think of this as the same thing. Only the devices are attached to nerve endings. Stop that! Jesus! She's had this fantasy forever. Why is she suddenly in such a hurry now? The vote, of course. I don't care what the politicians say. As soon as the axe comes down, the augmented are as good as extinct. <laughs> They're living out their augmented sex fantasy before the Human Restoration Act passes and all the augmented are killed or whatever happens to them after that. That's darkly humorous. Manager's office. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Uh... <clears throat> Maybe later. How come how come every door is unlocked? Like these are private rooms and you can just walk right in? It's really strange. Best club in Prague, friend. But I am busy right now. Isn't the person that tried to sell us that tried to say like, hey, what do you want? A, a log, a dog, something, something? I think that's that person. Get away from me! See, now that's a reasonable reaction for someone who just came into their private room. We're at the center of some disturbing health news right now. The most significant of them. I wonder what that Eliza Kassan is. Are they just a... A very, very well-trained and... Heavily, I don't know, augmented or plastic surgeon person to look exactly like Eliza? Or are they enhanced with CGI? Or are they entirely CGI or what? I can recognize a former police officer from a mile away. Once they learn the walk, they never forget it. That's really cool. There's actually, they actually have a, a fat sex worker. I think that's the only fat character I've seen in the entire game so far, now that I think about it. Don't bother trying to be tricky, sugar. 
They've been watching you since you set foot into the district. You stick out like... What do you Americans say? A sore thumb? Yes, that's it. Oh, there's another bar up here. What can I get you? Okay, you want the real dirty stuff or the rough stuff? Get some street walker. Just, just saying hi. It is my pleasure to serve you. What would you like? I'm all right for now. If that ever changes, I'll be here waiting. This place or what? They're just bodyguards or what? The old sector was great, but this the volley henchmen. What about you? It's too bad there's no helicopter tour of the city. I'd love to see the way the two eras come together. I love the way the light off. plays off of the wet bricks. He slept on the roof one night. It was gorgeous. It would be great if this building had something like that. My favorite color is black. I wish I knew they let your kind in here. I wouldn't have given them my business. Not my type. Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobromila. Please, you... No, you, you are too... I'm sorry, I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. Should I bluff or just outright disclose? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll just disclose. I know about your meeting. And I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other. Who are you? What is it you think you know? Vince and I work together. I know who he is. I know what he does. And I know there are people worried about him. Is he in danger? Has something happened to him? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I get the feeling he's not the only one who might be in danger. That was some shot in the dark. You had no way of knowing who I was why I was here. It wasn't a total shot in the dark. You're obviously not the rally. Though I should have known right away that Vince Black wouldn't be augmented. But I should be more discreet. We're both should. What kind of trouble are you in, exactly? Vince wanted me to sell information. About my husband's operation. Lester runs a... It's something Vince was digging into. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please, I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? We should talk somewhere else. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks. Shikashka. Go before me, and I'll meet you there. I don't want anyone to see us walking out together. You sure you'll be all right until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. We'll see each other soon, I promise. they don't end up dead before I can talk with them. I'm worried they're just never going to show. Whiskey, am I right? <sighs> Whoop. You're back I don't care. Let's check out the rest of this place. Um. Oh, right, the Irish stool. I still want to check out that place, but the, the main quest is there, and I think I want to hold off on that. 
What else is here, though? So, this is all just the Red Queen. Where does this go? Get lost. This place is not for you. Turn around, Clank. We Yobke are not allowed inside. That is, ah, uh, it's the entrance to Diwali territory, which is all restricted. And there's a whole apartment block back there. Can't wait to get there. There's the bar. Whoa! Temptacle! <laughs> uh, back in... Eight seconds. Is this some sort of tentacle porn thing? That is a very cool looking tentacle though. I love that it actually comes out of this place. Available. Okay. What does that mean? What is what is available? Not sure how I feel about this weapon. And where does this go? Ooh, it goes behind the Irish stool to the sewers, and the sewers might be able to take me to Diwali, ter Diwali territory. Talari, there. What is it, Adam? Any word on what happened to Vince? I just spoke to his contact. A woman he was supposed to meet to get info on some Diwali op. Problem is, he never showed up. I have a really bad feeling about this. Do whatever you can, Adam, to pick up his trail. Let's hope he's alright. Yeah, that made him panic. I, f I figured that might not look too good. It's alright, though. I think... I think it's alright. I don't think anybody's coming after us. Ooh. Oh. Can take us up to an apartment up there. Actually, I don't even need to put a biocell in that thing. I can just jump up there. Restricted zone. Whoa, this is actually a really big building. I think this might be like... Oh, this is the apartment complex, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, I don't want to get too deep into that yet. Just good to know it's an option. And there's just the sewers, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go meet our informant. Hopefully they're going to show. Okay, good. I want to make sure I wasn't followed. I think it is safe for us to talk here. Finally, together we can make Vlasta pay. Vlasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling. Weapons. Drugs. Horse. You name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored, and I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself, and then you will do what you think is best. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? Why? I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for a new life. Vince and I were still... negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting... I don't know what to think of him anymore. 
I put my faith in you now. Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Or do you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Blester knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. What else do I need to know about your husband? Blester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... this monster. I want him to test failure. To have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. What you do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. All this sneaking around, exposing your husband's criminal activities? How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But... I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay, of course. All right, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Here. The ticket's already been bought. Open-ended. You leave when you want. All right. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait, I thought they wanted money to start a new life as well as a train ticket. I just gave them a train ticket. Do I not have the choice to, like, the chance to give them money at all? I would like to. I'd like to give them, like, 10,000 credits or something. You have the information you need to take down my I guess not. Operation. Uh, they scribbled the location of her husband's smuggling operation on the back of an old receipt. Looks like it's not far from Palisade Bank. And I've got the code to get in. Delara, that Diwali op Vince was digging into? I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Uh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you... came by it how, exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find. Alright, the storage locker should be right over here. I feel like I would have found this place before, did it? I mean, it's not like it opened or something just recently, right? But apparently I haven't actually been here. Does that allow me to get up somewhere? Oh. Ooh. That might lead inside of the bank. I gotta keep that in mind. Before I go there, I want to know what's in here. I have the password to this. 
Okay. It's a bunch of fancy stuff. Wow. Oh, it's another one of those... Oh, I thought this was one of those burning suns like we saw at Talos Rucker's place. It's not, but it's got a similar sort of look to it. I think it's just the earth. It looks like it's burning, though. Maybe it is the sun and it's just a lot bigger. Can't tell. Whoa. There's somebody there. Oh, they're not an enemy though. Who are they? Well, I think I'm going to find out in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.